Good morning. I'm Captain Todd Copeland, Commanding Officer of Naval Support Activity South Potomac. It's a pleasure to be with you today. I'd like to talk this morning about the military child. There's 1.2 million uh, children right now uh, in Navy families around the world. The role of a military child is uh, the, really the bedrock for us as parents and sailors around the world. Uh, I know uh, from my own experience of having uh, of two kids that the greatest thing that would happen to me on any single day in my military career was to be able to hug my kids. Uh, we've had to have our kids move eight times. Uh, they've been to multiple different schools. Uh, at one point, my daughter was the only English uh, speaking uh, person at her preschool. The role of that military child is really, really difficult. Uh, and we wanna take this time to acknowledge uh, what they do for us and to ensure that we're taking care of them. So I'm going to introduce uh, Lolita here, who's a school liaison officer, to talk a little bit more about the uh, Operation Purple. Lolita? Thank you, Skipper. Hi, just like what um, Skipper has mentioned, my name is Lolita Gunter. I'm the school liaison for the Naval Support Activity South Potomac, uh, servicing Dahlgren as well as Indian Head, Maryland. So just like um, the Skipper's experiences with her children, school-aged children, I'm here to provide assistance to make those uh, transitions smooth for those school age children. So if you have any questions about um, a transitioning as you transition your children, please contact me at 540-413-7287 or the um, uh, email address at slo.nsasp.fcm at navy.mil. Also, I would like to uh, mention that to recognize the sacrifices and contributions of those military children, we have Purple Up Day, which we are celebrating, including the Commonwealth of Virginia and, and the Naval District Washington. We are going to celebrate it on the 21st of April. Please wear purple to recognize those children. So again, April 21st, Please wear purple to help or recognize our and, and recognize the sacrifices and contributions of our military children. Thank you, Ms. Keeper. Thank you, Lolita. Uh, and so uh, I am now uh, signing a proclamation making uh, April the month of the uh, military child. So I ask all, uh, everyone, all the parents out there, take that extra time. Uh, read that extra story this month. Uh, spend some extra time with the kids. Uh, I know I've gotten to, to know a lot of the kids around the base here at uh, Dahlgren and at Indian Head uh, to include the Easter Bunny uh, a couple days ago, which was great. But that w we asked them to do, do really difficult things. You know, every three years we ask them to uh, make new friends and, and be the new kid at school again. And, and what they do is, is hard. Uh, and what they do for us as a family is, is really important. So, um, so by this declaration of uh, declaring April uh, of 2021, the month of the military child, it's really sig signif signifying uh, the importance of what they do for us.